Hello, geeks. During last week's spoiler-free review of Crimes of Grindelwald, we not only got new geeks to join us, but we also got this comment from our good old friend Jeremy. While watching Crimes of Grindelwald, I also had the same thought. It is revealed that a phoenix will come to a Dumbledore in need. So what if Fox wasn't sent to Harry in Chamber of Secrets because Dumbledore told him to, but what if rather he came because Harry himself is a Dumbledore? Aww, family. <laughs> If you haven't seen Crimes of Grindelwald yet, there will be spoilers in this. So if you don't like spoilers, you might want to wait and come back and see this until you see Crimes of Grindelwald. If you're like me, and no, it's not about the destination, but more about the journey, and don't mind a good spoiler, or if you've seen the film, continue watching. So before we get back to Harry, while researching Dumbledore's family tree, I discovered something. Grindelwald might have been telling the truth. Well, at least a half-truth. According to Harry Potter Wiki, Dumbledore had an aunt named Heronia. It goes to say that they're not sure if she is the sister of Kendra, Dumbledore's mother, or his father Percival. But it's more likely that he, she is the sister of his father Percival. We do know that Unless we look at the rewritten history of Harry Potter, Dumbledore's mom actually would have been dead before the birth of Credence. They kind of changed it so she's so Credence was born earlier, but I don't know. If you go by the original, his mother was gone before Credence would have been born. So that means that it probably wasn't her son. And Dumbledore's father was imprisoned in Azkaban before the birth of Credence. So, again, not very likely. However, if Heronia was Dumbledore's father's sister, that means her last name would have been Dumbledore as well. And she would have probably gave the name to her son. The reason I'm going with this theory is Heronia was actually engaged, but called off the engagement because she found her fiance fondling horklumps. What if she became pregnant before she called off the engagement and they were going to actually be married soon? Even though she was engaged, during this time period, an unwed mother would have been looked down upon. But what if she crossed the ocean and started a new life in America? She could have said that her husband had passed down, made up whatever stories she wanted. And the woman on the ship was alone with her child. Now I know this brings the fact of, well, if the mother was the same person on the boat ship, wouldn't she have realized that it wasn't her child? True, but the ship was going down and there was a lot of panic. She might not have gotten a good look and just assumed it was her child that she grabbed out of her bassinet. But this would explain a lot more than trying to change history. Now getting back to Harry. I couldn't really find anything that concretely put them in the same family. Except, so Harry, we know from him giving the Cloak of Invisibility, is a Preveral. And it's far-fetched, but Dumbledore's father's name is Percival. Perhaps they changed it slightly to name him after his great-grandfather. Uh, it's been done before. They just changed a couple of letters around from Peveril to Percival to give him the same name. And Dumbledore did seem to know a lot about the Peverils, such as they might not have actually got the gifts from death itself, but have just been awesome wizards. So what do you think? Do you think Credence is actually the cousin of Dumbledore? And do you think that Harry and Dumbledore 
are somehow related. Let me know in the comments section below. And we'll see you next week. Geek. <laughs>